is Empower Black Doula. My name is Keisha. I am a childbirth educator, um, birth and postpartum doula, and also a mentor. If you guys are ever interested in my mentorship program, make sure you click that link in my bio so you can set up your 15 minute discovery call so that we can get to know what type of doula you want to be. Um, today's video is going to be about what to expect in the hospital um, as a high risk mom. So, let's get into so, it. So number one of what to expect is expect to be on IV fluids. Now, I always say it's your world. We just live in it. So you can pull the um, IV, back, IV fluids back just a little bit. Um, they do sometimes over fluid people. And if you've, if you've given birth and you've had IV fluids throughout your labor, you would notice a lot of swelling towards the end because once that, that IV fluid didn't have anywhere but to go to your ankles. So um, you do notice a lot of like swelling. So reason why I say that is because you want to, you know, make sure that um, you don't get too much fluids. So you can kind of pull it back a little bit and be like, okay, can you turn it off? Can you, you know, do this? And just ask your provider questions. And um, yeah, to give yourself a little bit of room with that, but IV fluids, cause you always drink uh, fluids as well. So you, but you would most likely need IV fluids, especially if you're on any Pitocin or anything like that, they'll most likely wanna give you IV fluids. And that brings me to number two. If you are ever on Pitocin um, to start your labor, any type of labor, um, medication, whether that's Cervidil or Cytotac. I can do a full video on the options of an induction as well, but if you're ever on either of those, you want to be really, really mindful of the fact that a lot of times what can happen is the contractions can be so strong that it can cause baby's heart rate to decel. So I say that because if you're on Pitocin, I always suggest that people... Um, Ask them to start the Pitocin off really, really slow, starting off at one and going up every hour instead of every 20, 30 minutes. It allows your body to kind of like catch up with itself with the Pitocin so that the contractions are not so intense for the baby. So that would be number two, what to expect um, as far as being, you know, getting induction, induction medication. <laughs> um, but yeah. That would be number two for high-risk mom. And number three, as we're talking about the process, you know, like going as slow as you want with, with the Pitocin, um, number three is making sure um, that you understand that the process is meant to be slow. Don't allow anybody to rush you. It's meant to be slow. Go your own pace. And then that brings me to number four. <laughs> expect to be there for a um, few days. I would say anywhere between three, I'm going to say even up to five, six, seven days. I've had people that said they were there longer. And if you have a C-section or emergency C-section rather, you will most likely be there for three, four days at the hospital. So make sure to expect to be there a few days when you're a high-risk mom and you have to go into being induced. So that is my video for what to expect from a hospital birth from a high-risk mom. The next video, I will do a video talking about the induction methods that they offer and the different choices that you may have and just little tidbits and information that you may need to know about each option. So that's the next video. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and um See you next time. Bye.